guys welcome back to my channel i'm ru and i'm back today with another home cooking video so today i'm going to be baking donuts for you guys so these donuts are very easy it's a very easy step by step recipe even if you are if you haven't made them before you it's so easy to bake them so without wasting much of your time let's get into this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to all those who have subscribed to our channel thank you so much for subscribing to our channel and also guys don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i post a single video just for you guys so to make your fluffy and soft donuts uh, the ingredients that I'm going to use are just basic. You can find them at your local tap shops, at your local stores. And most most of the times, these are some of the ingredients that you'll be having on hand. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your plain flour, cake flour, or all-purpose flour. They all works the same. Salt, yeast, eggs, milk, sugar cooking oil that is it for the ingredients and then we move on to our equipment you're just going to need your mixing bowl your wooden spoon or any or your spatula then you're also going to need your measuring cups that's what you're going to need in terms of equipment so to start uh, on our donut recipe the first thing that you have to do is to dissolve your yeast in your warm milk if you don't know how to do this i have a step-to-step -step procedure that i did when i was doing my soft buns recipe so if you haven't seen the video please go and check it out so that is the first step that you're going to do so while this yeast is di is dissolving and frosting we we'll set it aside and then we move on to our dry ingredients so the first thing that you're going to do is to measure our six cups of flour So this is our our plain flour. Then to our to our plain flour, we then add six tablespoons of sugar. Two, three, four. Five, six, then also add in a teaspoon of salt. So after we have added in our salt, we then mix our our dry ingredients. So after you have thoroughly mixed your dry ingredients, then we start working on our wet ingredients. So to this dry ingredients mixture, we're going to add in our two eggs and our yeast mixture and after we have added in our two eggs we add in a tablespoon of cooking oil actually two tablespoons of cooking oil
then after this we then move on to our this mixture that has been dissolving you can see how much it has flopped and then we add it to our wet Grease your bowl so that you don't stick to the bowl. So you it like this and then after this you take your clean rag if you don't have clean rag you can even use your plastic bag whatever yeah but don't I know some people use dish towels but that will only limit the amount of sunlight that will penetrate into your door because all you want is for this door to proof if you tightly cover your bowl you put you can even set it aside on room temperature and leave it there to proof uh, but as for me i'm just going to put it outside and let it proof for one hour so i'll show you guys how it looks after an hour bye Hi guys, welcome back. This is how my door looks after an hour. It has been proofing outside for an hour, and you can see that it's actually doubled in so, size. 
So the first thing after you have removed it from the sunlight is you pour a generous amount of vegetable oil into your hand and then you start kneading. So guys this might look like a lot of cooking oil but believe you me this actually helps in the texture of your donut. So guys, uh, I have managed to knead the oil into the dough. So your drawer should be looking like this. You can even see how how soft it is. Okay. So after this, after this, then we now transfer our dough onto our surface. So I'm just going to take the first half of our dough. You can set this aside. Then we we'll start rolling out our dough. So. We now start on pulling our water. Then we take our cutter. You can use the water. And start cutting. cutting my donuts so i have this ring donuts here then i also have like a twisted situation here some twisted donuts then i also have another page of ring donuts and some mini donuts for my daughters here so and then here over here i have my pot with vegetable oil um it's on medium heat if you have a superior stove the common ones in them i'm using it at five as you can see it's on five so let's start frying this donut so another tip guys after you've finished cutting the donuts you need to leave them on the surface so that they proof again and they develop if you can see closely a layer that's on the on this donuts this layer this will really help your donuts to to put, to puff up when they're in when you place them in in your oil. Okay, so you need to wait for your oil to to reach at a perfect temperature, and then you start frying your donuts. So, if your oil is hot enough, once you put your donuts in your oil, they should start puffing up like this. And once you see this cold and browning then make sure you know it's time for you to turn your donuts See how lovely this this babies look guys look how golden is turning into
thank you guys for watching i hope you liked how these donuts came out if you tried them please share with me on social media on facebook and also if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed until next time bye